Okay, so another three minute per round province video. I've already done BC, which has a map created by Mapper. Alberta, though, doesn't have a map created by Mapper. Uh, there are a few different maps, but I, I'm not really sure how they work. I tried one of them in the first round, put me in BC somewhere. It was close to the border, but obviously whoever made the map didn't do the outlines of Alberta properly. Uh, so I made my own here. Quickly look at the, the outlines here. Um, I kind of avoided these areas just because it was only a photosphere and this stuff here because there's all photospheres. I wasn't, I could have taken out this stuff, but there's only a couple of photospheres. It wasn't really worth the effort. Um, my only concern is that I'll get a bunch of photospheres in the Rockies here, but let's try, uh, let's try it with this map. I haven't done any of these videos the of the countries or the states or provinces with a map that I created, so let's hope that I don't have any problems here. But uh, yeah, I might have to do this with some of the provinces if there's no official map made. So anyway, three minutes per round. Looks like we're in a smaller town here. Or we could just be on the outskirts of a... No, I think it is a small town. Boundary Road. Hmm, wonder what that means. Because I... Well, this is kind of cheating because I didn't... I'm the one who made the map, but I, I put a little bit of space between the borders of Montana... Uh, Saskatchewan and BC just because I didn't want them to be uh, I didn't want to get something uh, like accidentally get something in the wrong province uh, Medicine Hat Drag Racing Association so Boundary and Broadway so I don't think we're actually in Medicine Hat but um, Oh, actually, maybe we're just on, like, in an industrial park outside of Medicine Hat, like, one of these. Or maybe this Red Cliff. Um, oh, yeah, I think we're here. Yeah, there's that, that radio station, so. Yeah, because I know this town is kind of more industrial, right? Oh, no, not the town itself, but this area, yeah. Don't they have a Costco up here? Yeah. I've been there in uh, Battle Royale, I think. Okay, so what intersection did I start near here uh, Broadway and Elbow Drive so it's this one up here somewhere um, oh maybe these tanks will show up no they don't okay that's gonna be kinda tough then if not all these buildings show up we got that thing and then another two buildings yeah a lot of these don't show up maybe I'll have to use the other side of the street so do have a building here? Oh, I think it's that building, so we're just about there. There we go. Okay, so two rounds in and it's working out so well. Uh, well so far, I mean, no photospheres. 99 and 95th. I know Edmonton uses this system, but I assume they're not the only city that does. Let's just look where 99 and 95th would be, just to see if the area could work out for this, uh, this location, 95th. And 99th. Oh, I guess those that intersection doesn't even exist in Edmonton, so it's not Edmonton. Jubilee Park. Oh, this is a dead end. Wait, where are the roads going? Avenues east to west. Oh, it does work out for Edmonton. Wait, it is a dead end. Knob Hill Park. Yeah, okay, I don't think it works. So yeah, let's just look for let's look for a city name, and then it should be pretty easy since it's all numbered streets. I guess obviously there is Edmonton's not the only city that used that system where they started from a hundred. Uh, although maybe this doesn't even start from a hundred. Maybe we're way out of the no. This is the center here. Okay, this actually looks like quite a large place though. So maybe it's Grand. No, it's not Grand Prairie. Okay, one hundred one and ninety nine. This looks like a suburban area though. So city center is that way. Oh, Fort Saskatchewan, so it is Edmonton area. Okay, so what were we at? 95th and well, it was Jubilee Park. 95th Avenue and 99th Street. So is this wait, I guess they use oh they use a different sist or they use the same style of system as Edmonton, but it's a different, like, like it resets. So Jubilee Park is there, 95th and 99th. I think that's where we started. 
Yeah, so just a bit south of the intersection. It should be fine there. There we go. Two minutes. Okay. This is going to be kind of easy to pinpoint, I think. Let's see what we got here. South uh, Parkside Drive, 10th Avenue South, Mayor Magrath. I'm just going to assume that this is Calgary, but I'm not really sure. 10th Avenue South. Um... Maybe not. Maybe yet. Uh, Edmonton would be, if it is Edmonton, this would be like way out in the outskirts somewhere. No, everything's north in Edmonton pretty much, so. Um, okay, well, let's look around more, get some more clues. We do have some big buildings here. Mayor Mar Magrath or whatever it was called doesn't really sound familiar to me, though. So, oh, Chinook Motel, that sounds like a more a Calgary thing. Here we go. Okay, we got a bunch of place names here, or street names, I mean. I do think this is Calgary now. Um, Mayor Magrath, where would that be? Although we don't have quadrants. Oh, wait, do they need quadrants on these signs, though? Or do they just need the south and north, or east and west, but not both? I don't know. Um, let's just look around Calgary a bit more. A look east and west along 19th Avenue. Actually, no. What were those other streets that were on that sign? Because then I can just find, like, instead of looking for mayor, whatever the street's called, let's look for these these smaller ones. Or these numbered ones, I mean. What the hell? Okay. Uh, 29th Street and 30th Street, so let's look for those. No, that's not going to make sense, is it? Yeah, all their streets are, are quadrants, so let's not do Calgary. Could it be Red Deer? No, they don't have any quadrants there at all. I guess they use Edmonton system or something similar. Oh, Lethbridge, maybe. If I don't find it here, I'm going to... Okay, this works out. Yeah, I think it's Lethbridge then. Uh, 30th Street. Oh, this is Mayor Marg... Oh, Parkside. Didn't we start near that? Or is I just making that up? What is the motel there? Travel Lodge or something? Or there's a Knights Inn? Okay, we got a Mexican restaurant too. Yeah, it's here. Right? Yeah, okay. Should have just looked at, at multiple cities earlier. So we got... Uh, I think we're at the last house that's facing the road before it starts curving around. And we got this big one here that's farther back and then this other one here so yeah, I think we're about there there we go Ooh, 12 meters off that's pretty oh shit I'm not gonna be able to get this accurate but at least it's not a photosphere um, I wasn't really making this map with the intentions of either replaying it that often or having other people play it so I'm not really too worried how often there are photospheres as long as I can get these five rounds done without a photosphere but I think this is farther north because the coverage is the same coverage that Northwest Territories has. So I'm thinking it could be that highway. Um, this one. Because I did put the point... Actually, no, they don't have street view of this whole thing. They have street view of the Northwest Territories part. But not all the Alberta parts. So I'm not really... I don't really remember even though I just made the map. And I just looked at the map at the start of the video too. I already forgot which... Or how extensive the coverage is up north. Um, I don't think it's the highway up to Fort McMurray because that one's four lanes and divided. Um, yeah, okay. This is just going to be a matter of clicking as much as I can in three minutes to get, or two minutes now, to get a sign to some place, hopefully. So I might be going the wrong way, but it's too late now because uh, the other way might have signs to other parts of Alberta. Although this one might have a sign to, like, Northwest Territories or something. Um, I might just have to use the angle of the road at some point. We do have a road off. Something's going on here, so I wonder if they have... No. Okay, I was hoping that maybe there'd be a sign saying, like, telling them what road we're on, but I guess it's kind of useless because it's pretty obvious what highway this is. Um, they don't really need to point it out on a, a sign for that other street. Um, I mean, if you're driving on this highway, you obviously already know what it is. So, I don't know what to do here. Looks like we have something going on here, a junction maybe. 
hope there's those range roads and stuff up here. Oh, a train track. I don't think they have a train track up to, uh, do they even have trains up to Fort St. John and Dawson Creek and such? I don't think they do. I'm just thinking in BC terms here because I'm more familiar with it. Oh no, they do have a train up here. Um, so we're going northeast, kind of. Maybe it's just Highway 2 really far north. No, but there's a lot of trees around. This area is like farmland and stuff. So, yeah, I'm thinking 35. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. It's going to be a, not a great overall score, similar to the BC game, just because I got a very far north remote round, and that screwed up my score in the BC game. Uh, my scores for Washington, Oregon, California were pretty decent, because I didn't get rounds like this. Actually, Washington, I kind of did. It was more rural farm area. And, oh, I ran out of time. Shit. So I got the right highway, didn't I? So I did um, say something about this area earlier, but... Oh. I wonder if I could have eventually gotten to that if I went the other way. Yeah, I definitely could have, because that's where the train crossing is there. So maybe I could have actually gotten to Meander River if I went the other way, and I may have, may have been able to find that. Crap. Okay. Anyway, I didn't think the coverage went up that far, but pretty bad score, just over a thousand points. And wow, look at this. This is uh, Bow River. What's it called? Bow Valley Parkway or whatever. What is it called? Yeah, Bow Valley Parkway. So I just have to figure out how close to either Lake Louise or to Canmore or Banff or whatever we are here. There should be lots of signs since it's a tourist area. Um, yeah, very nice area. I'd like to go back again within, I don't know, maybe in the summer? I don't know. Um, so it's a pretty straight section here, which I think might be relatively uncommon. So I think it's also somewhere where the freeway is a is not on the same side. Actually, I think it might be here. The mountains do remind me of the ones around Canmore, but I suppose a lot of the Rockies look like this. Crap, what's going on here? What the hell? Why can't I move? Okay, that was weird. So a long straight section going... Oh, it's going northeast though. Okay, so that's not the right straight section. And I think this area here is not mountainous enough really, is it? So I think I'm in the wrong spot there. Oh, shit. Actually, because most of the highway is going southeast, so actually this might be quite helpful. Uh, the straight section, at least. Oh, wait. Maybe this is, uh, this one, 93. No, but it doesn't go northeast. Okay, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. I haven't been on 40, so it could always be that. Yeah, because I don't see the freeway on the other side. Does this follow a river? No. I don't know what this one is. It doesn't look like... That one looks too small. Could it be? No, I'm just going to assume... Oh, how about this? Oh, maybe it's this. Yeah, I'm thinking now it's this one. Okay. Highway 11, so I haven't been on this one. So I'm not really sure what the... The mountains would look like in this section but uh, these curves do make sense so we're in this big curve here I think sorry I'm kind of quiet here I'm really thinking hard don't have much time left don't want to screw this up and it goes directly west a bit southwest okay it's here yeah that makes sense I'll look at it a bit more closely after, just hoping that it's right. Crap, there's a sign there. I don't know, I'm pretty sure that's correct though. Yeah, there, oh crap. Just at like four points off, but it doesn't matter because I don't have a good score anyway. So, what did that, what's that highway do? Rocky Mountain House, I know I have seen, because I've been up 93 a lot of times, or a few times. Um, is that, where's um, Peito Lake? Oh, Pedro Lake's there, so I've probably only actually been past this maybe 
two or three times because a lot of times I've only been to Pato Lake and then I've gone back south because I haven't been to Jasper a whole lot of times. Anyway, very nice area there. Would love to go back again soon. But um, the game overall, I don't know, went okay. Other than this round, it went well. I'm pretty happy about the last round, especially just because it was all based on looking around, finding angles and stuff. Uh, the other rounds are pretty much just normal or normal normal urban geo guests are looking for street names and stuff and then this one is I don't know, a big guess but at least I got the highway um, yeah I got the highway right but pretty much the only highway it could unless yeah it is the only highway it could have been so yeah thanks for watching I'll do more province videos soon Saskatchewan Manitoba um, Ontario I'm kind of nervous about because I usually screw up Ontario when I try to do the uh, Canadian speed run uh, speed runs but let's see how the other prairie provinces go and I'll be doing US states too like uh, Idaho or Nevada next or Arizona I'm not sure but thanks for watching bye